Hip Hop Bansula, or simply WHP, the son of Moff Town, is no more. He was born and bred in Mahigang in 1980. WHP was one of the finest in the genre, especially when it comes to Motswago, a form of hip hop. People will be amazed at what they're going to see, but Jabba, the rebirth, is still going to be amazing because now I'm no longer hip hop and solar. My deal with Universal is over. I'm signing over to the States. Inshallah, God willing, you know. And if that all goes well, man, I'm about to become like a phenomenon. He was full of life having cut his teeth in music back in the late 90s after joining Verbal Assassins. Subsequently, more albums like Introduction and Omang followed. WHP Usu will be remembered for his role in popularizing the use of vernacular languages in his music, especially Setswana. He was also known for collaborating with a number of artists, among them Kaspar Nyoves. What I'd ideally like to see is the same kind of thing, a fill-up F&B, but in different countries in the continent. Penetrating everywhere. East Africa needs to be like onto what you're doing. West, exactly what's been going on with Casper and a couple of other African artists that have been putting this on. Like, so for me to see is now like transitioning into the entire continent. And then from there on now, you're filling up like, you know, massive like um, venues in London and wherever else. Madison Square Garden is something that could definitely be attainable in the next five or ten years. His untimely passing has sparked a massive reaction on social media with fellow artists expressing their shock. In 2007, he was bestowed with a Golden Stars Award in his hometown province, Northwest. This comes in the music industry as it's still reeling following the death of another hip hop star, Pro Kid, just a few months ago. Kylie Kumalo. Johannesburg.